this makes for a total of, when I have 10 times 10 times 10 times 26 times 26 times 26, 17,576,000 different license plates. Okay, let's try another problem, a letter code. Let's say a particular lock has five buttons A, B, C, D, and the combination are these five letters in some order. So I have a lock on a door. And in some order, I have to push the buttons A, B, C, D, E. Again, you could use your placeholder method. So I realize there's a five letter combination. For the first spot, there are five possible letters to choose from, A, B, C, D, and E. But once I use that letter, I'm not going to use it anymore. So for the second spot, there's only four options left. For the third spot, there's three, then two, then one. Again, I multiply all these together. But five times four times three times two times one is the same as five factorial. That is what these, that pattern means. So five factorial, which we use an exclamation point to represent, is five times four times three times two times one. 16 factorial would be 16 times 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 times 11, so on all the way down to one. You can put this into your calculator if you want to by either writing out 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, or you can type in 5 on your calculator, find the math button, it's the third one down on the left hand side, scroll over to probability, then scroll down to the exclamation point and hit enter. This will give you 5 factorial which ends up being 120 different combination possibilities. Okay, let's change this up a little bit. Let's say that our, we still have a five letter combination code, but we could use any letter in the alphabet, but we can only use that letter once, so repetitions are not allowed. Okay, again, we have a five letter combination. But now, since all letters are fair game, we have 26 possibilities for the first letter. Repetitions are not allowed, so then we have 25, 24, 23, 22, which we can multiply out and realize, let's see, that that gives us 708 or 789 3600 7,893,600 there is a different way we can write this though we can realize we do have the start of a factorial 26 25 24 23 22 that's the start of 26 factorial But 26 factorial continues down to 21, 20, all the way down to 1. So the way we need to get rid of those green numbers is to divide by 21, 20, 19, and so on, all the way down to 1. So we need to divide by 21 factorial. Go ahead, try to put that into your calculator. Figure out what 26 factorial over 21 factorial is. You should come up with the same exact number that 26 factorial over 21 factorial is 7,893,600.